and we're going to begin with uh, the book of second corinthians 4:18 now when you think about the marketplace when we think about our businesses and the spaces that god has called us we have the seven mountains of influence um, that is the mountain of the media right here we have the mountain of education government uh, family um, arts entertainment religion you know and as we're thinking about these mountains we think about them from what we can see from what meets the eyes but do you know that there's a lot that happens behind what we can see in the spiritual realm? So as the Lord has positioned you in a specific area for you to be um, an influencer of, I'm going to use that word, because we have been called to be influencers as believers, wherever we have been placed. So maybe you find yourself um, in the banking industry. Maybe you are a chef. Uh, maybe you are a businessman, a businesswoman. And that is what the Lord has placed in your hands to steward. Anything that the Lord has put in your hands to steward is literally part of the marketplace so you are part of it you know sometimes people think about the marketplace and you're thinking hey that's a fancy term for those fancy people in the office um and we forget that everything even business is part of this even the education system maybe you're a teacher you are part of these spheres and i do believe that god always positions us in some different space he'll always position us in one of these mountains or more so that we can influence for him and so the the first thing that i really felt in my heart the lord reminding me about the marketplace and i was reading a certain article um and it brought out this scripture very well. This is 2 Corinthians 4.18. And we're going to read it in... Um, we're going to read it in the NKJV version. And it says, while we, while we do not look at things which are unseen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And so a lot of times we take these mountains of influence and the places that God has placed us from face value. And we just think we are just here um, to do this and that. And we forget that there's a spiritual aspect to the different mountains of influence that God has positioned us. So child of God, you've just not been positioned there to take care of, um, you know, the, the matters that can be seen. You have been positioned there to take care of matters that are unseen as well. There are forces that work around these mountains of influence. And child of God, it is not by mistake that you've been positioned there. It's not by mistake that a lot of times you'll capture something in the spirit. Maybe you are um, a chef and you just capture something. Uh -uh, there's something going on in this uh, space of mind today. There's something that's going on in this business. There's something that's going on in this education, in this classroom. There's something that's not working. Child of God, that is how we are meant to operate, to see the unseen and that after we see that, then we partner with God and align things right there in our space of influence. We align things to God's will. We align things to the way of God. We speak over our, our students. We speak over the atmosphere in that classroom. And we say in the name of Jesus, whatever it is that is causing there to be such confusion in this class, you stop in the name of Jesus. You have not been positioned there by mistake. You are there as a watchman to ensure that God's purposes happen in that marketplace uh, space that you have been given so child of god don't look down upon yourself don't think that you know what i'm here i'm there um you know it, it, it's just like a space it is not even if it is your own business that god has given you there is something that he wants to do with that there's a reason why he's given you that skill to generate wealth maybe you are supposed to have employed over 10 people or 20 people 
so that their lives can can be transformed so do you see that it is quite a spiritual matter and so today even as you're going to work today even as you're opening up your business this is what the lord is reminding us it is not a matter of physical things yes it's important the business needs to look good you know you need to do your part you need to uh, pay your bills you need to do whatever you need to do but there's also a very spiritual aspect to that space where you are the marketplace is a very spiritual space and so you're not just there by accident you are not just there uh, to pass time you are there to hold fort you are a watchman in that industry and you need to begin to partner with god and say that which you have called me to in this industry of doing this and this of making jewelry whatever industry that you've been called to we have been called to influence for jesus there are people who are making jewelry you know for other things but you child of god you have been called to make that jewelry and make it to the glory of god that as people wear as people do this and that you know they feel the love of god and that is why you've been put in that industry as you are in that banking hall you are not there just for the sake of it for you to just get your pay yes it is an important part of life but you are there for a bigger purpose and that is to steward the wealth to steward the wealth of god's people so when we go to work today with that understanding then we begin to experience god in such a beautiful way because he's going to show you the lord says you know ask and i will show you he wants to show us but we don't ask or sometimes we are not even aware and you know, maybe you, you, you've been told this before or you know this, but somehow, somehow, maybe you forgot. So this is God reminding us as believers, wherever we have been placed, we have not been placed there by accident. There is something that we need to do. There is something that we need to partner with God in. Maybe you are there as an accountant. You're there to ensure that things are not going to go haywire. Maybe you are there you know as as a teacher and you're thinking my work is just to teach get my pay and just go no you are building the next generation there's something there's something child of god that your father is asking you to partner with him in today as you're going to work as you're going in different spaces as you are going um into your businesses as you are going maybe to begin uh, that project as your project leading whatever it is that god has placed in your hands you have been given that to steward for his glory and with that, it will only come with this understanding that it is not just a physical affair, but it is a spiritual affair that we may see and understand that it is not just physical. Just as the, the book of 2 Corinthians 4.18 has said, that we do not look at things, just these things that are seen and we walk with that, but the things which are not seen, the unseen because this these things that are unseen these things are eternal and that is why also we are told the the weapons of our warfare are not carnal we are not fighting a carnal fight it is not just your colleague anakuone ama you know it is not just that there is something in the spiritual that needs to be halted there is something in the spiritual that needs to be addressed when you begin to see things just operating in a strange way around you in that space you are in in your business ah it is time that you say in the name of jesus whatever it is that is happening in this spiritual space right now in my atmosphere it breaks in the name of jesus christ it is time that we align and realign everything including that which the lord has given us to do with our hands we align them to god we align them and speak jesus over every space in our lives when you begin to see it is just dead left right and center things are happening and you're wondering god it is time to speak and say in the name of jesus you spirit of poverty you spirit of debt you break off me in the name of jesus you leave my business it is time that we plead the blood of jesus of our businesses because god wants to do something with it it is time to pr you, you pray praying without ceasing 
praying without ceasing and saying ah uh-uh, lord this which you have given me it is to give you glory lord then lord i'm standing right here in the gap of this business in the gap of of this place that you've given me uh, for employment i am standing in the gap for this organization things are going to work in the name of jesus christ because child of god you are there as a child of god then you can speak things to order. You can speak favor over your organization, the organization that God has given you to work under. You can speak life and say, in the name of Jesus. Because I, your child, I am here. This is what you've blessed me with. Then God, this thing will have to operate. It will have to work in the name of Jesus Christ. So child of God, it is not just a game of of what is seen. It It is not as simple as that. There is something greater that God is doing and is calling you into. So be encouraged as you're going out today. As your child is going to school, that is the space they have been given. Teach them to speak life. Teach them. Show them the way and tell them, you know what? As you are in class, as you're saying maybe so and so and uh, so and so on. You know, just teach them how to operate with what God has given them in this season. And that is for them to be students, to be pupils. You teach them and say, uh-uh, when you see this, do you know that you have power in your tongue to speak and say, uh-uh, Nani will not honor me. And you teach them how to pray. You teach them how to operate in this. Because as they continue growing, they will get more things. Just as you have more things to, to kind of align with. You know, you have more things to speak into. They will also have more things to speak into. So it is rather we begin now as they are young. It is time that we just say as believers that we have been called, we have been positioned for such a time as this. It is not by accident that you're finding yourself where you are right now. Maybe you're thinking this is not where I want to be. This is not where I was. But whatever God has given you in your hands in this season... That is exactly what God wants you to steward as he is getting you ready for the next thing. So even as you are praying, maybe you're like, "Mm mm-mm. Lord, this is not it. This is not it. Ask him to align you. Ask him to realign you. Ask him to open doors for you. But in the space that you are in, even right now, remember we said that we need to be in the present. We need to learn to to be in the present with what God has given us for today. So that, that which God has given you for today, then steward it well. Steward it not just with your energy, with your strength steward it with the grace from God ask him to give you the grace and that is what I'd love for us to pray for this day that we may be able to see and maybe for some of us you feel like you are in this Babylonian space I, you know it can be very difficult and we're going to continue even learning more about such spaces and we're going to look at examples of people who found themselves in such places and they had to be you know the difference in those areas they had to look very different because they knew in whom they have believed and so child of god because you know in whom you've believed even if the lord has put you in a space where you feel like it is just babylon this is babylon there's no better term even for it then look to him he is the one with the strategy remember we said last week it is him who is going to give us the strategies He is the one who's going to give us the strategies in Jesus' name. And so, child of God, at this moment, I'd just like us to pray. And I invite you to just surrender yourself, even as you're going to work today, that the Lord is going to give you this understanding that things just don't happen. That, you know, as you are in that space, as you are in your place of employment, or if you are in your own business, that you are there to steward something. The lives of many are being touched because you've obeyed and you've opened up that business. So let me tell you, it's not like the enemy is just seated somewhere chilling and saying, yeah, just continue thriving as a child of God. No, because there are systems and patterns of this world world and we as children of god are are to put the systems and patterns of the kingdom of god and so there's always that conflict but today just choose to say lord here i am help me to have that understanding that this is beyond me that lord 
yes it is something that looks like it came from my own mind from my own um thinking but i know that god you are part of this i know that you are the one who led me to do this and that and so lord here i am and i ask would you indeed open up my eyes to see may i have that revelation and understanding that there's a, a an unseen world that is in operation as well that it goes beyond what i'm seeing that indeed there are things that manifest in the physical that have manifested fast in the spirit spiritual in fact there's nothing that comes in the physical that has not manifested in the spiritual fast life is spiritual it is very spiritual and so the way to win the beginning point for us in the marketplace the beginning point for us in the spaces of influence god has given us is for us to understand that it is not a physical war it is not a physical space that we are only operating in it is both spiritual and both physical and so we need to stand in the gap and the gates in the spiritual realm and say that no we are not going to allow certain things to come our way in the name of jesus christ and maybe you're thinking hey i've allowed some things to 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 just happen because i didn't have this understanding then child of god you can still speak over your situation and say lord daddy i'm sorry i did not have this understanding or i i just forgot or i just lacked kidogo and things have just happened but you can ask for forgiveness and you can ask the lord to help you this morning don't shy away tell the lord daddy here i am i don't understand this situation i am sorry that you know you had warned me about this but i still went on with it and now my business is looking like something else but i pray lord that would you restore what the enemy has stolen because now i have the understanding that there's a whole spiritual realm that influences my physical realm and so this morning i stand at the gate i stand at the gate and i say in the name of jesus every mountain every high thing must be brought low in the name of jesus Jesus anything that is operating against me and my business and my place of work and everything that God is calling me into I pull it down in the name of Jesus Christ anything that has raised itself above the knowledge of Jesus over your life we pull it down in the name of Jesus may the purpose of which God put you there come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ you will not be removed prematurely you will not be moved left right and center and you're wondering okay what is going on with my life in the name of Jesus Christ you are going to operate in the position that God has put you in this season and you are going to do it well in the name of Jesus Christ just begin to speak over yourself and say I am going to do this well because the Lord has put this in my hands he has given me the grace so i'm going to operate in the way god has called me to operate in this season right here where i am in the name of jesus christ as god has put me in this education mountain as god has put me in this mountain of the arts and media as god has put me in this mountain of business as god has put me in this mountain of government then i am going to operate in a way hi in a way that is going to bring him glory remember as we have been walking this journey one thing that we've kept on saying is that god is the one who's going to get the glory so even as we are doing what we need to do in the different workspaces we are in it is him who gets the glory it is him who's going to watch over the word he's released over you so we need to have that understanding as children of god as we begin walking this journey of applying principles let me tell you the kingdom of of the world they have this understanding they know life is spiritual and that is why they'll go to other places and do other things so that they can get certain favors but we as children of god we have the one true god on our side we have elohim on our side we have the creator of heaven and earth on our side how comes we don't go to god to ask him for assistance we don't go to god to tell him okay lord i i i, I need that help to to understand to know what i need to do I need that favor to operate this business. I need this business to bring glory to you. It is time for us as children of God to be challenged enough to know that you know what? I need to bring glory to God. This business needs to bring glory to God. It cannot look like tatters from January to December. It cannot 
and it begins with us just claiming it and believing for it and saying you know what lord i believe i do believe that you are the god above every other gods pearl radio the home of fresh and classic hits